we shall take our journey of understanding the various terminologies ahead we shall be talking about the objectives now we know that research is taken up in order to understand a situation in uh, with a deeper understanding or maybe to solve a problem at hand or an issue at hand so there is something which can be termed as problem in the center of a research in order to solve this problem it has to be broken down into smaller problems or smaller portions and then it becomes easier for the researcher to take a judgment of whether those parts are achieved or those smaller problems are solved or otherwise when the researcher completes solving each of these sub problems then ultimately the researcher by that time would solve the main problem at hand the purpose for which the research has been undertaken now this uh, smaller problems or sub problems they are nothing but the objectives of the research so they are basically the purpose for which the research has been undertaken a particular research or one research title gives generation to many objectives now the scope of these objectives or the depth of the objectives would depend on the choice of the researcher so maybe our particular research may generate say three objectives so the three problems or three sub problems could be stated independently we shall understand this with the help of an example we shall see an example of a research title and we shall see how the objectives are written for that title the title is study of the effectiveness of the action plan for the improvement of public speaking abilities of standard 5 students now here the researcher has identified that the public speaking abilities of standard 5 students need to be improved and the researcher is trying to take judgment whether it can be addressed with the help of an action plan and thus the research base is given to the whole effort so let us see how the objectives are written the first objective is to develop the action plan for the improvement of public speaking abilities of standard 5 students so in the first objective the developing because the researcher will have to first develop the action plan so the objective for that first step is written let us see the second objective to test the effectiveness of the action plan for the improvement of public speaking abilities of standard 5 students now the main research part comes which is related to this second objective where the researcher tries to study the effectiveness of the action plan that he has designed how far it was successful what were the various hurdles that came into while actually implementing which aspect of the action plan was liked by the students which appealed them which they enjoyed the most and things like that would be studied under this objective so thus the main problem of studying the effectiveness of the action plan for a situation has been divided into two sub problems problem number 1 or rather sub problem number 1 is the development of the action plan and sub problem number 2 is the saying the actual effectiveness of that action plan so uh, similarly we shall see another example this second example is of a correlational study it is a study where the researcher is trying to see whether the two variables are related with one another so the title of the research is the study of the correlation between the adjustment abilities and the school achievement of the students now in this case the adjustment abilities and the school achievement of the students these are the two variables under study and the researcher is trying to see whether there is any correlation between the two so let us see how the objectives are stated in such a study where it is the correlation is the focus the first one is to study the adjustment abilities of standard 7 students then the second one is to study the school achievement of standard 7 students and the third one is the to study the correlation between the adjustment abilities and the school achievement of standard 7 students now in this case as you note 
that in the title there was no mention of standard 7 students but in the objectives there is a mention of standard 7 students. The objectives here are helping the researcher to make the research study more and more specific. So at the title level it was more general as the title gets broken into the smaller objectives the study gets more focus more specific. So thus in this case it was general students mentioned in the title but in case of objectives it was the decision of the researcher that one wants to study it for standard 7 students. Similarly it could be studied for any other level so depending on the choice by the researcher. One more point you would note over here is when the correlational study is taken where the relationship between the two variables is being studied. In this case the first objective would be the measurement of the or the study of the first variable. The second objective is linked with the study of the second variable and in the third objective these two studies are interlinked with each other in order to find out the correlation between the two. So thus as we say if the major problem was to study the correlation between the two variables it was broken into three parts and thus the three objectives were formed. Through this we can note some of the attributes of the objectives. You must have noted that each objective begins with the first word to. So the word to must appear in the beginning of every statement of the objective. The next attribute of the objective is the verb should be in the doable form. So it is something that the researcher should be able to do, should be able to perform during the course of research. That is the second attribute of the uh, research objective. The third uh, attribute is the objective should be such that it should be achievable during the time frame of that research. So imagine a student has taken up a research for say master's level program and then has taken up something which needs interviewing say vice chancellor of all the universities in the state. Then it would be very difficult. Then it will be an unachievable target during the time frame of the course of that master's degree program. We shall now see some of the mistakes that the researchers make while writing the objectives. In one objective only single aspect of the study should be mentioned. So imagine an objective which is written as to make gender wise comparison on ability to adjust and level of emotional intelligence. So now in this case there are two aspects under study ability to adjust and also the level of emotional intelligence. It is not even referring to the correlation of the two. So definitely those two are required to be studied independently that too in the context of the two genders because it says gender wise comparison. So in this case there are two aspects which are put into the same objective that is a wrong way of putting the objectives. This objective should have been in the form of actually two objectives. The first one as to make gender wise comparison on ability to adjust and the second one to make gender wise comparison on the level of emotional intelligence. So thus in one objective only one aspect should be included at a time. If there are more than one aspect included that is a mistake in the objectives. When we say that the objectives are the sub problems to the main problem, many a times the researchers confuse it as a list of tasks to be accomplished during the course of research. For example, if one wants to take up a comparative study but even before taking up the actual study one would definitely have to refer to the library, go through various resources maybe talk to the experts, design the prototype of the research tools and so on. So sometimes the researchers list them as the objectives. So they sometimes list something like to review the material available, to collect the data from the students. Now in this case to review the material or to collect the data is not the objective of the research. The research has not been taken up 
for reviewing the material or the research is not taken up for collecting data from the students. Thus, the reviewing the material or collecting the data, they form the list of the tasks that are required to be completed in order to complete the research, but they cannot be put as the objectives of the research. The next mistake is made especially with the novice researchers when they don't have generally the imagination or the judgment of how much work is being called when a particular research is taken up. So especially when at the master's level the students take up the research for the first time, they land up taking a scope of the research and even sometimes even the objectives which are far beyond the timeline that they have at hand as a part of the coursework for that particular program. Sometimes the researchers write the objective like to create awareness about environmental issues. Now creating awareness of environmental issues, it cannot be an objective of a research. The research is not taken up for creating the awareness about environmental issues. The researcher may have taken up the research in order to see whether this awareness has been created. And for that purpose, the researcher may have designed a training program or an orientation program or a treatment if we want to speak in the language of uh, experimental research. So to create awareness could be an objective of that experimental treatment or for that uh, action plan, yes. But it cannot be the objective of a research. So thus the researchers at times confuse between the research objective and the objective of that of a action plan or an experimental treatment. Thus the researchers may commit any of these mistakes and if such mistakes are committed, they are the indicators of the not clarity on the part of the researcher. These are some of the possible mistakes in case of writing objectives. Writing clear cut objectives is also one of the important stages in the blueprint of the research proposal and the researcher should be absolutely clear while writing these objectives. We have discussed already about the operational definitions and the variables in the research. The insight that has been gathered through writing the operational definitions, the listing out of details uh, of how would they would be measured and so on. Similarly, which variables are under study, all this wisdom that has been gathered should be used to the fullest while writing the objectives. Only the clear cut objectives will take the journey of the research to a proper accomplished work in the discipline.